Good morning, everybody. Woke up to a snowstorm. Kids had no school today. We had to go to the store and run a bunch of errands, regardless of what the weather was doing. So, decided to do a quick grocery haul for you. I did one last week. We had taken a very quick hiatus, and uh, we're back in full force. Lots of grocery hauls now. We had to hurry today, though, because, like I said, we've got the kids and they were hungry, so we had to get home and make lunch. I guess I'll go ahead and start here. We did go to Meyer today. That's kind of my preferred regular grocery store. We spent about $270, and this should last us probably a week. With what we have, it might last us a little bit longer than a week. But I wanted to make sure we had lots of stuff in case we did get snowed in. Last weekend was terrible. It was my daughter's birthday, and we had a lot of traveling to do and hotels and things. And it took us two and a half hours to go 50 miles. So it was a very long weekend. So this weekend, we are pretty much planning on staying home. Not doing anything but eating, and maybe sledding. So I will start here. We got two packages of chicken cutlets. They were two for five, and they're normally at least three ninety nine a piece. So that was an incredible deal. We've got lots of deals today. The Tyson country fried steaks and chicken nuggets were two for seven, I believe, and those are usually at least three ninety nine a piece too. We're having the chicken nuggets for lunch today, and this is an empty package of onion rings that we also are having for lunch. Those are in the oven already. And then we have some French toast sticks for breakfast in the morning. I wanted to um, make this strawberry brioche French toast, but they did not have any brioche bread, so we're going to do French toast sticks instead. I got a salad kit for tonight. If you can see that, it was 75% off. We only paid a dollar for it. And it looks just fine to me. So we're excited about that. I got two of the kale salads. These are our favorite bagged salad. And they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I got two of them. And they do last in the fridge quite a few days. So we'll have one probably tomorrow and then in a couple of days then we'll have the other one you'll have to excuse the noise from the tv like i said all three kids are home today it was a snow day it's been nuts all right we got some polish sausages we're gonna do like bratwurst with those these are the best they have lots of garlic in them some brown and served sausages to go with our French toast sticks for in the morning. We got two dozen eggs, unfortunately. We lost a couple. They got smashed on the way up. We have two flights of stairs to carry our groceries up, and it's quite the workout. So I'm not surprised. At least we only lost, I think we lost one or two. I threw one away because that was, it was leaking in my hands, so... We got some Euro kits. Those were on sale. And we got some chicken taco kits. Those were on sale, each 50% off. These make a really great quick like lunch for me and then leftovers for the next day for lunches. So you can't beat that. And it's quick and easy. I get so sick of sandwiches. So two of these watermelons. Our middle daughter has an obsession with watermelon. Unfortunately, it's January, so watermelon is definitely not cheap. I think each of these were like eight bucks a piece, so it's better than candy, right? Um, I got some salsa. This also was on sale. I don't normally buy this one, but for $1.80, we're going to give it a shot. Um, I got some taco shells. One night we have a taco night. We have about 10 packages of opened half-eaten shell, soft shells in the cupboard, so we definitely have to use those up. I got two of the butter cheddars. We are going to have these one night wrapped in crescent rolls, and then the next pack will be probably, I'll throw a few of my husband's lunch and do whatever, but those were on sale. I believe they were buy one, get one free. 
We got some pork chops. Those were also on sale, 40% off. So I, I can't beat that. We'll put those in the freezer and have those later next week. Got some hot dog buns for our brats and our butter cheddars. Tonight we are going to have burgers. So I got a big package of meat that was also on sale. We saved like five bucks there. So that was a good deal. These, I normally buy stew meat. I'm going to make beef stroganoff one night. And I normally buy just a big pack of stew meat for eight, twelve dollars. And I've seen these and I thought, well, I'll just take, do the work and cut that up. They're each about a half pound. So I got three. I figured a pound and a half of meat for six people. That should be about right. So for about seven bucks, I figured we're going to give it a shot. It'll just take me probably 10 more minutes to cut that meat up. I got two tomatoes for our burgers and our tacos. And I want to have BLTs one night. I still have bacon in the refrigerator from last week's trip, I believe. So we'll have BLTs one day too. A loaf of bread. These are for our burgers. And then we'll also put our those chicken patties on these buns. I did get a package of the smaller, cheaper buns. Um, these are... The Meyer brand is really good. I have had really terrible luck with the Great Value and the Aldi brand of bread and buns. They have been falling apart, like crumbling. Falling, and when the kids, their hot dog falls out, they get really mad. So we quit buying them, but we've tried the Meyer brand, and these are really soft and nice. So these are a little bit smaller than the seated ones, so we will use these for the kids' hamburgers because they don't eat a huge, massive hamburger. In fact, I found half a hamburger the other day. One of the kids had it, like, under their bed. I don't even know how that happened. So, I don't want to do that again. Um, we got some juice boxes for the girls, some strawberry and some grape. We got a gallon of milk. Ignore our really terribly stained counter. It is a, it's a rental, so... When we moved in, it was like that, and I, for the life of me, cannot get it to come up, so it, it's there. We got some baby wipes. I don't normally buy the Meyer brand, but I was not going to go to a different store for a stupid pack of baby wipes. So, All right, so we got some fruit cocktail, and the story with that is that our middle daughter loves fruit cocktail but she really only likes out of focus here she only really likes the cherries and the pears in it and the grapes she does not like the peaches so i am going to mix this up and that way she gets extra cherries and her fruit cocktail these are baking potatoes tonight i want baked potatoes with my burger and I'm sure my daughter Rayleigh will want a baked potato too. So I just got three. I did get a big bag of potatoes. We'll see in a little while for like mashed potatoes, but those are pretty small. These are egg noodles for beef stroganoff one night. Some cat food for our Miss Weezer. We got some sweet potatoes. I have been on a sweet potato fry kick, so we got some sweet potatoes. I'm gonna show you this really quick so I can put it away. This was on sale for like $2.50. Black raspberry chocolate ice cream, never had that. We're gonna definitely give that a try. And then some strawberry shortcake ice cream bars. Those were on sale too. Rayleigh, can you put those in the freezer? Yes, I can. Thank you. Should have did those first. And we got some clementines. We bought a bag of these the other day, and I think they were gone in like not even two days. So I got another bag of those. I got a couple of these for my husband's lunch. He usually takes either one of these or a sandwich, or sometimes he'll take leftovers. Today he got leftovers, so. We got some whole strawberries. I originally bought these because I was going to make that brioche French toast. 
but we didn't, I couldn't find the brioche bread, so I'll just put these in the freezer, and the next time I get to Aldi, I'll buy a loaf of that. Blueberries, if you've been around for a little while, you'll know our middle daughter eats a bag of blueberries like every other day, so we got her some blueberries. Here's the other bag. I thought I bought two bags. That will last her probably until Monday. Today's Friday. Heavy cream. I ran out of this and we were really sad because this makes the best hot chocolate. Make it follow directions and add water to it. But then at the very last, put about a quarter of a cup and a big mug of this. And that makes that hot chocolate awesome. We got some flavored waters there. Those are just really nice. They're caffeine free. They're sugar free. And, uh... They're just a nice alternative to pop. Pizza rolls were seven for seven, and they're usually $2.99 a box. So I saved $2 a box, so I stocked up. They only had one Supreme. Those are my favorite, but I got lots of other ones for other people. These butters were on sale for $3.99. I'm probably going to go back and get some more. Because these are usually $5.79. I kept staring at the sticker to make sure I was looking at the right thing. And I am so excited. This is the best butter. It's better than Kerrygold. So I got two of those. And then I just picked up one of these. These were also on sale. I picked up one of these. I'm going to make no-bake cookies this week. So I'm going to use that for them. A bunch of bananas because you can't live without bananas. More cat food for our Miss Weezer. These were on sale, I believe, two for five, and they were $3.99 a piece. I normally wouldn't have bought this much. We don't go through that much mayonnaise, but I figured for that price, I can put it away. Summertime will come and you make egg salad or deviled eggs or something out of them. We got some waffles. We have one child who's not big into French toast sticks, so we'll make her waffles. Some mashed instant mashed potatoes. My husband really honestly just doesn't like fresh potatoes. So one night when we have big potatoes, he'll probably have these. I got two of these country gravy mixes for the country fried steaks. That will be either a really quick dinner one night or those are really good for breakfast with eggs. If you go to Cracker Barrel, that's my favorite thing is the country fried steak and eggs for in the morning. So we might do that on Sunday. I got some taco seasoning for our taco night. Some American cheese for the burgers. We don't buy a ton of this kind of cheese. But um, burgers and grilled cheese, that's about the only time that we use this kind of cheese. It's not good for you, but once in a while, I guess it doesn't hurt. We got some crescent rolls for our um, smoked brats. We'll wrap them in the crescent rolls. Here's another 7 for 7 deal. Um, and there are the green giant vegetables. I got corn, white corn, peas. And they were seven for seven, so these will last us a couple of weeks. But with a side dish for dinner, that I you couldn't beat it. They had really good deals today. They had Mrs. T's pierogies. I believe they were two for five, and they are at least three something a piece, not on sale. So I grabbed two of those. I think tonight my husband asked for burgers with them, and then burgers with them. And I got a big 10-pound bag of potatoes. And I think that was it. And it was about $270. And on the top of the receipt, it always tells you how much you saved. And it says that I saved $65 by buying everything on sale. So that is it. Everybody have a great day. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.